So Paul, just we were just seeing that you know because light kind of moves and acts as this wave through some really cool physics, kind of constrains the options it can move at in three dimensions, and that constraining kind of controls a little bit of how it emits or controls the light that's interacting. Yeah, with. so electrons act as waves, so they, they sit inside their trapped atom, and that means they can only have certain energies. So you can draw an energy diagram. Here's an energy diagram for hydrogen, and you can see it can be in level one, two, three, four, and so on, but it can't be at one and a half or 2.75 or 3.94 or anything It has else. to be at these even numbers, and these even numbers are then going to correspond to the wavelengths we can see. And when it jumps from one level to another, yep. it's going to have to give up or gain energy. So if it jumps down, it's going to have to give up energy, yep. and that energy will come out as a photon of light. And the wavelength of that photon will reflect the energy gap between the lines. So when we're really seeing these colors of light or these spiky bits and the stuff that we're looking at, we're seeing the energy transition or the energy transiting from one level to the next. Yes. So for example, here's our energy levels of hydrogen. Okay. Um, and this was our this was our hydrogen spectrum we were looking yeah. at earlier. So, for example, this sp spike here, which makes hydrogen clouds look red, is due to electron jumping from the third energy level to the second energy level. This spike here is due to it jumping from the fourth energy level all the way down to the second energy level. Ah. This one here is from the fifth energy level down to the second energy level. So, because that's a, the transitions or the amount of energy it's spinning is different the wavelengths that it's emitting at is different. If it's jumping a bigger energy gap, that means more energy has to come out, which means you're going to get a shorter wavelength and therefore more energetic photon coming out. So if you jump all the way from 5 to 2, that's more energy coming out, so your photon's going to be at a shorter wavelength down around here. And But because it takes more energy and we're seeing less of them, often we see less of that light emitting for the same energy level. Yeah, I mean, just imagine if the hydrogen gas was just sitting around drinking pina colada somewhere, all, all the electrons would be in the most energetic, l lowest energy state. I mean, yeah. if, we, if we take you home and your kids aren't jumping all over you, you'll be in the lowest energy state, slumped on the couch, presumably. That's the energy state we'd like to be at as well. And it's the same for atoms. So hydrogen normally would like all the electrons to be down in its bottom energy state. Yep. And if that's the case, it's not going to emit anything. But you have to do something violent beat up the hydrogen, so it knocks some electrons up, and then they might move back down the levels and in the uh, process emit all these okay. photons. So really what we're seeing with these colors of light is this physical inner transiting at these different levels in the electrons. That's right. So um, the level is it 3 to 2 is the main one in visible wavelength. I spent a lot of my life studying the level 2 to 1 transition called the Lyman alpha line. Now that's actually the strongest line of all, but it's down in the ultraviolet, so you uh, can't see it with the visible light. But if you look in the ultraviolet light, so really if we and look at... a warping in, rate spectrum over here at 1 to 1.6 nanometers. So because that's the exciting <coughs> thing, because if you have all these different colors of light, these energy levels can be emitted at any type of light, not just visible. Yeah. And this is a fairly simple energy diagram, but if we go to a more complicated one, this, for example, is an energy diagram for sodium. So sodium has more electrons, therefore has more levels to jump. Now, it depends if it's ionized. So if sodium's got all its electrons, then maybe it's just the outermost electron jumping. But if you heat it up enough, it might lose the outer electron, um, and then it'll be the next one down jumping around. And there are just more ways they can all rearrange themselves. Okay. So you get a lot more lines, and I won't go into all the complicated, hideous details of this, but you can jump from here to there, and there to there, and, there, and this gives you all sorts of funny things. So because you get a lot of these bouncing around, therefore then with sodium we should see more types of these emissions features than we do with, say, for hydrogen. Yes, yeah, so generally the more electrons you've got, um, the more permutations there are, the more lines you get. I mean, the bane of my life is ionized iron, because <laughs> that has so many spectral lines all over, so many electrons all over the place, jumping up and down levels, it's got lines all over the place. That's That's every, so almost every wavelength. Whereas when you have less of them, as he said, less jumps, less ways to jump, and therefore fewer lines yeah. and fewer colors. Now, not all these transitions can happen. Okay. Some of them are forbidden by various arcane laws of quantum mechanics. For example, you've got to have the right amount of spin at both ends and things yep. like this. Some of them can only happen very rarely they're called forbidden or semi-forbidden lines. They still could happen. And there are some that are really totally forbidden and never happen at all anywhere. They just so, don't happen that much. Yes. So there's a whole bunch of complicated quantum mechanical physics behind these things. So what you get depends on which elements are present, yep. how hot the gas is. You need to heat it up or zap it with electrons or something like that. So the more energy you put it, yeah, that's up to right. the higher level so they can then jump down again. Which is why if we put no energy in, they're essentially not doing anything. Or the electrons are sitting at the bottom level and drinking pina coladas and uh, not emitting any light. 
and lots of quantum, complicated quantum mechanics comes in here as well.